Alright, hello everyone. Welcome back to Golden Sun. I went ahead and just came back to the Gundalin Close. It wasn't that far of a run anyway. And I did end up like having a list uh, for the Jin pulled up so I know who all, uh, like where all they are. All of them are, and I'm just gonna kind of have that to the side. That way, I don't miss a, a gen, and also so I'm not wasting time. So we can go ahead and head that way through that opening. But as you can tell, there's a little doggo down here, and ruff, ruff. well, well, let's read his mind. Dig here, you dig? Bruh! Okay. Uh, don't... Yeah, I, I, I took a scoop off. Well, you dig here... And it's a water spout. Or a geyser, I guess, is the better term for that. And you can actually run around up in this area. I forget what exactly is in that uh, area where the hole in the wall is with Whirlwind. A Wolfkin Club! Basically, this game's version of a, like, a bad werewolf, <laughs> I guess. Because <laughs> we actually talked to a werewolf in the last one. And actually the last couple of episodes. So... Flash Ants are the first reskin of the Punch Ants. Uh, punch Ants aren't really much of anything, Flash Ants aren't that much of anything either. So, nothing to really worry about. Um, I do see that guy. He's someone we can get. Uh, Come over here to use the lash. And in doing so, we can just head back up this way. <laughs> yeah, it messed the a wyvern chick. That, that, that looks bigger than like a little baby wyvern. Uh, unless, honestly, the wyverns got bigger, but they don't. And we had a level up there. I, who was that for? I guess Sheba or Felix? I didn't actually pay attention to who leveled up. That's my bad. <laughs> yeah, if you fall down that way, there's nothing you can really do. Uh, I actually forget it. what is over here, if anything. I, I, again, I haven't actually played the game in years, so... I'm trying to go through and remember all this stuff as I'm doing this. Okay, just a bunch of nothing. But why can't I hop around over here? That makes no sense. Alright, well... Whatever, I guess. Also, those two... The, the red mushroom and the green mushroom... Those are things we'll have to get for something later. But I don't really remember if we can get that right now. I know it, some things are uh, unavailable as of this moment, but they'll become available later on. Okay. That happened. Uh, hurricane. I... I'm gonna go back and see if there's anything to find on these this hopping puzzle. Good thing uh, this with these hopping puzzles, uh, usually there's really um, okay. There is something that we can do. I thought there was no way to get around. Technically, there wasn't until I pushed that big rock down, but. Hey. I, 
One nice thing about those jumping puzzles is you won't get attacked if you're on one, so uh, you don't have to worry about getting attacked by wyvern chicks and flash ants. Alright, let's just deal with all of these guys. It didn't lower his attack. That's unfortunate. Flash Punch. Alright. That can cause a delusion. But, again, not really anything to worry too much about. We did get a sleep bump. Honestly, these monsters aren't too difficult. It, it, it's just gonna be a little bit of just trying to make sure you kind of all your base is covered. Hmm. Let me just. Oh, hello, wild gorilla. Those are a reskin of a boss that we fought. I've. Like with any of the gorillas, they can get kind of nasty. They can get nasty if they hit you, but if they don't, it, it oh, attack drops by 31. Well, there you go. Uh, Jenna's now level 16. All right. So there's not too much to worry about. Can't do anything about that. We're not gonna go across yet. Because we have yet to get the Zhen, and I think we can get him right now, so we're gonna move around until we find a way to get to him. And, well, at least it, it, when I looked up the location of all the Zhen, we have found all the ones we can actually get. So, at this point of the story, so that's good. I was kinda concerned I might be missing one somewhere. However, yeah, this guy ain't too happy about us. Uh, this guy is Kendall. Uh, he's... He, he's a bit mad. <laughs> he, he, he isn't all that happy about us. But that being said, uh, he's... He's gonna be one of the few... Well, oh, no. That's unfortunate. Um... Yeah, do a Ragnarok. Let's do a Nereid. Out of breath, because you're hopelessly almost half dead. Don't need that going lower. Jin is Jin uh, Jenna takes six damage from the Jin. That's it. The thing is, the Jin have a lot of. They'll have a lot of just... Oh gosh, I'm not sure exactly. Uh... They'll, ha they'll have a lot of, like, magical attack power, but as far as, like, physical attack power, they have almost nothing. So, it's usually a pretty good idea to just go ahead and... Uh, if they attack you with a physical attack, you're pretty much fine. Let's do that. And we can actually give this to Felix. And he gets Ply and Ply Well, which are actually better heals than Cure and Cure Well. Uh, and Avoid is basically like a... Uh, just using a Sacred Feather. Unfortunately uh, for Felix, he's going to be saddled with you <laughs> having Jin that he's not going to use for a little bit. We have to wait till we get our fourth party member to really start balancing all the different Jin we have. Now you can like he gets a lot better stats if he has both of them, but yeah, all four of them. If I f okay, that's if I want to go down that way. 
I guess if I wanted to open up that passage with the um, whirlwind ability, and I would probably be best to go ahead and do that since I'm over here. Because I don't... It's bothering me that I don't remember what's back here. I don't think there's really anything in here, but... Yeah, it's just a little place to sleep, and it's got animal bones or monster bones and then a fire. Okay. Nothing too crazy. As I say with animal bones being in the cave. Alright. And obviously if the geyser's going you can't actually walk up on it. This isn't Okami. You could somehow swim up a geyser. Alright. <laughs> Been playing that for the first time in my own personal game, but that's a it's a it's a gem of a game. I love it. Oh. Was that the s uh, no, it was the other gorilla that had its attack decreased. But this one Well he never got to really use his Moon Air. Alright, there we go. That's the first time her sword ability went off. It, uh, yeah, from the Hypnos sword. Good grief. Alright, yeah, no. I'm gonna keep going the wrong way, apparently. And I, I find it personally a little bit weird, and... I don't have a problem with it, I just find it a tad weird that you gain Mercury Gen as much as, like, two Mercury Gen pretty early on, and it takes you, uh, not forever, but a decent amount of time for you to find the member who can make good use of them. I don't know if they were trying to encourage you to mix your Gen together so you can have, like, really good... Yeah, like, kind of like how uh, Felix would have uh, the ply and ply well and that kind of thing. I don't know if that there, that was their intent or what. But anyway, not this way. A lot of bunny hopping. Alright. I'm not sure how to get that other green mushroom. I think you have to fall from up there, but I don't know how you get up there. The thing is, is you need those mushrooms for something, and I'm trying to see if I can go ahead and get them without having to worry about it, but I might need a certain somebody to help. And it really is not cool. I think the reason why Felix is taking so much fire damage is because he's got two Mercury Gen on. Because even though he's not using those Gen, they're still on his personage. Which is... I would assume that's adding to... His resistances. No, not that. Oh, there we go. Well, that's a bit of a spoiler. Showing how many Gen we're gonna have. Good grief! But yeah, it, you can actually see how many Jin you would end up having in the end. You can tell you have a lot. If you ever want to know if you're missing something, you can look up a list and then look up your Jin here, and you'll know which ones you're missing pretty easily. <coughs> That's a simple, thick, 
kind of simple way to do it so you're not having to look through everybody's gen. It's like, okay, there's... Where did everybody else go? So, it's just more compact way of looking at it. Bad. Not actually, it, didn't, it wasn't that bad. Could have been worse. Alright, Shiva got a level up. Uh, hmm. I know we're spending most of our time here just going through these cliff, this cliff area, but... Oh, you know what? Yeah, we're... I'm gonna just make sure, but I think I'm right in this. So we do need our uh, water adept to take care of that, so we're done here for now. We'll be back, but currently we don't have any way to get that um, other, the, the green mushroom yet. Alright, um... Now, there is a certain town that you have, it, that a djinn is nearby. Oh, the moles. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure where this town is, because I'm trying to find it specifically, but by ex doing all this exploring. And oh gosh, bone fighters and death heads. No, I'm not a fan of them. Death heads. They can self destruct pretty much if given the chance. And I'm not okay with that. Alright, nothing down there. Bone fighters and wolves. It's just all the things I don't want to deal with. Actually, moles aren't that bad. The, the bone fighters, death heads are probably the bigger ones that I'm not too fond of in this area. Uh, like I said, the death heads they can do a self destruct move that actually does a lot of damage. They're not fun to deal with, and bone fighters are just like the big group enemies that can just do a whole lot with it, but they have to do like a specific move more or less to do that damage, otherwise it's kind of pathetic. Um, is this the town?